India will find out. Uh, you'll see sooner than you think. India's relationship with Russia uh, has developed over decades. Uh, strong alliances and partnerships uh, like the one that we have with India. I prefer to do it my way and articulate it my way. At a time when the United States was not able to be a partner to India, times have changed. It also seeks to punish Russia for military intervention in Syria and Ukraine. In the United States, the House of Representatives introduced a bill in 2017 stating that economic sanctions will be imposed on the countries that engage deeply with Iran, North Korea and Russia. The bill was passed during the tenure of the then President Mr. Donald Trump. Trump's administration defined this bill as CATSA, countering America's adversaries through Sanctions Act. The act mentioned that any country which carries out a significant transaction with intelligence and military agents of Russia will have to face at least five types of sanctions. However, the administration also stated that if these transactions with the agents do not affect strategic interests of the USA and doesn't endanger any alliance which the USA is a part of, then the nations involved will be exempted. The Section 231 of the Act also includes some prohibited agents which include all the major defense companies like Sukhoi Aviation, Russian Aircraft Corporation MiG, Almaz Ante Air and Space Defense Corporation. The bill also affected the US-Russia relation landscape as Russia demanded a decrease in number of domestic and technical personnel posted in the Moscow Embassy and at consulates in various parts of the country to 455 persons. Russia also suspended the USA storage facility in Moscow and tenure of 755 employees of the US diplomatic missions in the Russian Federation was also terminated. Moreover, this act ended hope for the further improvement in the US-Russia relations. But the question here is, what really triggered the enactment of CATSA by the United States? is behind the hacks that have brought Democratic Party and Clinton campaign emails into the public eye. The growing furor over Moscow's use of social media to influence the 2016 presidential. The US pointed out Russia's interference in 2016 presidential elections. Along with this consistent involvement in the wars against Syria and Ukraine, however, former President Donald Trump, who was accused of partnering with Russia during presidential elections of 2016, and who had signed the bill while being the president, called the act seriously flawed. In a series of statements, he also expressed the fear that the act might jeopardize America's relation with its European allies and the efforts of his administration to improve ties with the other allies might be hindered. Apparently, Trump's fear become a reality when many European and non-European players express their dejection over the act. Some countries are doing so even before the bill became a law. Germany and Austria, for example, mentioned in a joint statement in mid-June 2017 that the proposed bill has built up a new and a very negative quality of European-American relations. France too considered the provisions of the bill as illegal due to its extraterritorial reach. The nation-state of Indonesia also delayed its purchase of Russia's Sukhoi Su-35 fighter aircraft because of the provisions mentioned under CATSA. In the same continuation of this, Iran hinted towards appropriate reaction against the passing of the act. Turkey went a little ahead and finalized a $2.5 billion deal for the S-400 air defense system and cited existing international protocols and agreements signed between Turkey and Russia while establishing the legitimacy of their deal with Russia, thus rejecting US threat of sanctions under the CAPSA. Since passing of the act, US administration has put sanctions against many international entities. Strangely, in 2018, when India signed a deal with Russia for its S-400 air defense system worth rupees around $5 billion, the USA was not able to decide whether to put sanctions on India or not. Instead, an amendment bill was introduced in the House seeking exemption for India for the provisions of CATSA. India, on its part, has reinstated its move. And in January 2021, the then External Affairs Minister stated India has always pursued an independent foreign policy. This also applies to our defense acquisition and supplies, which are guided by a national security interest. Nevertheless, the amendment bill for exempting India from sanctions has passed the US House of Representatives through voice vote, and, and currently, India doesn't face any danger of economic sanctions by USA. But the question is why? 
The answer to this question is, according to the experts, the sanctions would have a disastrous effect on US-India relations for decades to come. In India's eyes, the United States would once again be regarded as untrustworthy. Thus, the US cannot afford to disrespect the relations between the two nations as it won't serve the US any good and it would be in the best of interest of the USA if it understands India's current needs. Indian American Congressman Ro Khanna, who introduced the amendment bill in the House of Representatives to provide waiver to India, also carries the same point of view. He stated to the Biden administration that the United States must stand with India in the face of escalating aggression from China and that we have been working to strengthen the partnership between our countries and ensure that India can defend itself along the Indian-Chinese borders and the US should take additional steps to encourage India to accelerate India's transition of Russian-built weapons and defense system while strongly supporting India's immediate defense needs. Apart from this, many American lawmakers have also supported this amendment bill stating that if sanctions are approved against India, it will affect the relation between the two countries and also create a greater impact on Quad, the quadrilateral security dialogue. Nevertheless, the amendment bill is yet to be passed. We can only wait to see how India-US relationship develops in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you really like this one, please consider sharing it and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Abhinav and you are watching Learn School.